Hi friends, it's Haya Grossberg here and I wanted to let you know that the workbook for psychiatric drug freedom that I've been mentioning to you is complete and it's available on my website now. You can also get it for an extremely discounted price for a limited time if you join my newsletter. So if you're on my newsletter, you already got the offer and thanks for those who already bought it. I'm really excited that some people bought it right away after I sent it out and um, sent out the discounted offer. And some ideas came to me. So um, the workbook is designed to help you think about um, like what types of blockages you might have in terms of coming off psychiatric drugs. I mean, a lot of stuff we talk about with coming off psychiatric drugs is obviously practical and logistical and it's about um, tapering, it's about nutrition, it's about supplements, it's about herbs and things that can help you calm down and feel and sleep and feel um, get through withdrawal, feel okay while you're withdrawing. And of course the food supplements and herbs and other things that can exacerbate, exacerbate <laughs> withdrawal. Um, but this workbook is about some other stuff like like internal fears and other types of blockages, which I think we all have in any in anything that we're doing. There's always like the logistical part that we need to um, work through and then our own inner blockages and fears that are also there. So um, what I'm also thinking about doing, and I actually would love your feedback on this, if you have any ideas or tell me what would be most helpful to you, but I'm thinking about doing, offering some other opportunities for people who buy the workbook to be able to connect with one another and support each other through the questions in the workbook. Um, so the workbook is a fillable PDF thanks to my friend who helped me create that. Um, and so you can write your answers right in there. It, it, you can type them right into the document or if you want you can print it out um, and write it in by hand. I'm also hoping to make a print on demand book that can be like a solid, um, uh, what's the word for it? Book, a real book. Um, like hard copy. Yeah. So for, for those who buy the book, I want to create some, some like online groups for those to, those folks, to, all of you to support one another in your process of going through these questions because I think a lot of them are pretty bring might bring up some some stuff that would be really great to be able to talk to others about and I'm also really excited that it can be so low cost and that I can create this way of connecting people to support one another and to connect with their own inner knowing at a really low cost so I'm also thinking about doing some telephone and or video support groups for those who have the workbook and, and would like to work through the questions with others. Uh, so I've been super busy lately. It seems like all of a sudden, like it's just so many ideas and so many things happening here. And I can barely, just barely keep up with my own thoughts. Um, so anyways, again, I wanted to say thank you for everyone who's helped me with this workbook. Um, Cheryl sits for making the audio meditation. I can't wait to hear how you guys like that. And Jessica Walkman for illustrating the workbook and helping me with some of the layout. And another friend of mine who probably wants to be anonymous, so I won't say her name, but who's helped me a great deal with the PDF and also just helped me to get it out there and, and to finish the process. And I'm sure there are people I'm forgetting, but, um, and just everyone on my email list, I'm so grateful that you have been um, reading my work. I also sent out to the email list a special report about benzos and um, how protein isolate can help people. I already of course got back a <laughs> counter opinion or counter information which is that some people who have a certain genetic, um, I don't know if it's it, a certain genetic defect or um, genetic diversity you could say can't tolerate any protein powders so I'm gonna have to update that blog and just put that in there so you know that if you can't tolerate any protein powders then obviously you don't want to use this method but if you can then a lot of people have been finding it helpful and not only for benzo withdrawal also for other psychiatric drug withdrawal 
uh, but especially for benzos. So check out that blog and let me know if you, if you do try it and how it works for you. And obviously if you have an allergy or sensitivity to protein powders, then it won't work for you. But um, I'm just learning it's like that with everything. There's no one magic answer that's going to help everyone with withdrawal. Uh, so I'm just going to keep, keep looking for that information. And also, of course, we all need to keep doing our research so that we can find what works for us. And it's not going to be the same for everyone. So thanks again. Um, I can't wait to hear how you like the workbook and the meditation. Please give me your feedback, email me. Um, I'd love to get some testimonials that I could publish anonymously or not, whatever you prefer. All right, see you soon, bye.